What's the worst experience you've had at the doctor's? Was in a fight. Got pushed through a glass door. There was a foot long piece of glass in my back. Emergency room removed it and sewed me up. A month later I was still in a lot of pain especially when sitting back. Turns out they left a three inch piece in. So that was fun. I was pretty drunk one night as went to emergency to get stitches after cutting my hand open on. Broken glass. The doctor in training. Resident. Intern. I don't know the term. Was tasked with stitching my hand but she had to wait for the senior doctor on duty to inspect the job first after she was done. Twice the doctor said, nope, no good, and made her redo it before the senior doctor got annoyed enough to do it himself on the third time. The poor young doctor was so down about it. I was entirely too wasted to feel any pain and just told her to keep her chin up. Cut my hand while making dinner one night and needed stitches. My boyfriend drove me to emergency and the nurses made me wait in a solitary side room because all of the blood on me was scaring children. Well I was supposed to be fast tracked because the bleeding wouldn't stop. Fast forward almost four hours later and I came out and said, hey if I go to the bathroom and someone calls my name, will I still be able to go in after? Quote. They were shocked. OMG you're still here? Quote. They forgot about me. I was covered in blood. Bleeding through my bandage they gave me as I walked in. And they forgot about me in this dark. Quiet room. Having the same procedure done three times on my face by one doctor. Third time the local anesthesia didn't work so I felt the scalpel and all the cutting near my eye. It got infected and I almost lost my sight. Had to get a second opinion due to the infection being so bad. That doctor was mortified and put me to sleep for surgery. No problems after that and he said that surgery should have never been done while awake. News to me. Original doctor ended up being sued by several clients for fraud and he lost his license less than. A year after botching my face. I've been offered plastic surgery by the last doctor to clean up all the scar tissue. But it makes me who I am and adds character. Definitely more embarrassing than dangerous. But the first time I got my IUD inserted. The gynecologist was super disappointed that I hadn't shaved my pubic hair off. She gave me such an angry lecture. It made me feel like I had missed some key knowledge about the importance of a bald pussy. Maternal fetal health visit about 18 weeks into my wife's pregnancy. This was our second pregnancy. The first ending in miscarriage. Things had been progressing fine and he had multiple visits with no issues. This was the visit where you see if anything is wrong with your baby. Heartbeat was good. A quick glance on the screen looked normal to my eyes. But the doctor was looking for specific things to indicate any issues. And started to find some. That visit went from exciting to devastating very quickly. The doctor was quiet while they searched for things on the ultrasound and then broke the news by. Saying he was sorry to say that there were genetic abnormalities in the heart and other areas. The second worst visit was the next day when my wife had to get an amniocentesis. Which is a procedure that figures out what's up with your baby's genes. It's a long ass needle they stick through a woman's belly and into her uterus to pull out fluid. Those were two horrible visits back to back. Turns out it was something called triploidy and it was amazing our baby even made it to 18 weeks. She ended up making it to 25 weeks before having no heartbeat where she was delivered still. I was inpatient at a well-known children's hospital when I was about four. Late one night there was a kid in the bed next to me who started crying for his mom. I'd been doing okay until this point. But it set me off crying too. 
A nurse came into the room and yelled at us to both stop crying. Or she'd give us something to really cry about. Still gives me PTSD to this day as an adult when I think about it. When I went to a GI doctor and was told to lose weight and stop smoking crack to help my constant abdominal cramping, among other symptoms, never smoked crack in my life, and I was at a perfect weight for my height. Saw a different doctor at another GI practice several weeks later. Had a colonoscopy done. And found out I have ulcerative colitis that was affecting my whole colon. Well in the span of two years a single medical system has misdiagnosed me at least five times. I've had seven vials of blood lost. Serious contagious health results hidden from me. Given me two unnecessary operations. Had two week long hospital stays with no correct diagnosis. Sent me to three wrong doctors. Been talked over. Disrespected. Dismissed and disregarded. Had doctors wrongly tell me they were going operate on me with no warning whatsoever. Been given medication I was allergic to. And been told that all my problems would go away if I simply lost weight. And two years later no answers. Being turned away for leukemia care due to the doctor's personal religious opinion about treating. Trans people. Oh. You're different inside. Two. How can I treat you? I had no idea my blood wasn't human. Lady. I reported her and the office gave her the smackdown. But holy shit I thought I was going to die.